Hi, my name is Daniel Harriman and I'm an Applications Engineer at National Instruments UK. This week I've been working with an NI product called a MyDAC. A MyDAC is a small piece of hardware which is really aimed at students to get them introduced into simple software coding and introduce them to simple electronics and how they can be worked together. This is my wireless transceiver. This is built up of two main parts. The smaller part is the remote. The remote is an infrared LED connected to a push button. As you push the button, infrared light comes out of the LED. The other part is the receiver, which is connected to the MIDAC. The small circuit that I've built is essentially just a potential divider circuit, where one of the resistors in the potential divider is an infrared diode. As infrared light falls on an infrared diode, uh, its variable resistance goes up. So if I push this button here, you can see on the the front panel of my program that I've written, you can see that the voltage is changing. Okay, so this is the program uh, that is supposed to run on my MIDAC. So this is the front panel, and what you'll see is we've got a graph, uh, a couple of uh, controls and indicators uh, for, to stop the task, set a threshold, to see which iTunes operation this is going to perform, and to see if we're getting a remote signal. So if we hit the run button, you'll see that we're acquiring some analog data and you'll also see that the remote signal uh, light turns on. The reason it turns on is because we haven't set the threshold yet. Uh, the threshold needs to be set because the infrared diode itself actually responds to ambient light in the room. So if I cover up the infrared diode and take my hand away again, you'll notice that the settling point on the analog input voltage is slightly different. So if we just raise the threshold to something a bit higher than uh, its settling point right now, so say 0.2, you'll notice that the remote signal uh, LED turns off and we're essentially not caring about any of just the background noise working on it. Now I've also configured this program so it can actually control iTunes. So if we just bring up a small little iTunes thing here, uh, we can just quickly go back a track by pushing the button twice. And you'll notice that it's changed in the iTunes thing. Or we can go forwards again. Or we can just stop the whole thing. And we can just press 1. Or again, to play and pause a song using iTunes. So, let's have a look at how that's done. So this is the block diagram of my LabVIEW code. If you want a more in-depth look, it's probably best to read through the comments and to see how that's done. But essentially we've just got three DAC assistants. And what these are doing is this one's acquiring our analog data. Our analog data is then compared against our threshold. And if it's higher than our threshold, then it causes the remote signal to turn on. What this will also do, though, is uh, use this DAC assistant to essentially just put a digital pulse out on one of the DIO pins. This is then fed back into an edge counter VI, which can count how many pulses we've had. So by counting the number of pulses, we feed it into this uh, shift register that gets passed around and eventually into our iTunes sub-VI. Uh, our iTunes sub-VI is what uh, essentially controls iTunes using some basic ActiveX controls. And this elapsed time uh, express VI is what's used so that essentially every three seconds from when the first button is pressed, it will perform a different operation. So if you push the button once and then wait three seconds, you'll play or pause. Push it twice, you'll get to the next track. Three previous and four will stop iTunes altogether. But if we have a more in-depth look at this iTunes sub-VI, you'll see that it's just some basic controls and indicators. And here we've just got a small uh, case structure for whether we've enabled it or not. And then some really simple ActiveX controls just to perform these different actions. And what this really shows is how easy it is to do something that's quite complex by using lab.